Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Jennifer from MamaFurFur.com, the home of smarter saving, smarter spending, smarter living strategies. Today I'd like to share with you my monthly shopping and meal planning haul. So basically what I'll do is for the whole of July I'm going to show you everything that I bought. I do one big shop at the start of the month and then we top up every week with milk, bread, fresh fruit and veg, just a kind of small shop that sees us through those couple of days. You know what it's like, the one shop is usually never enough to see you through. But as always, I love to share with you my meal plan. So if you're looking for ideas, feel free to use them. It is for a family of four. I've got two boys under the age of six um, and we just like to eat good, wholesome family meals. So we don't eat takeaways and generally we maybe eat out once a fortnight. So often I will actually meal plan for the entire month. So you're going to see four weeks worth of meals and you'll also notice that I tend to repeat meals every two weeks. Reason being that I find we don't really notice and usually if you looked at your own meal kind of eating patterns they tend to be repeated. You like your favourites, especially with young children I just like to make sure that you know they've got full bellies, happy tummies and we're all good. So I'm going to take you through first of all to the kitchen and show you everything that I bought. Today's shopping is from Sainsbury's. I haven't bought there for a couple of months so I wanted to compare the prices that I was expecting to pay for months of shopping. So I'll take you through and um, I'll show you everything I got and I'll also also show you our cupboards and our fridge and our freezer. We have been on holiday in June as you might have saw so I've actually used up quite a lot of stuff however my freezer has got a couple of items in there that I know I can use so I'm going to be incorporating that into the meal plan as well. So if you fancy checking out any of my other videos I've got a best of list that you can have a good rummage through. I talk about personal finances, investing and success mindset. So if that sounds like the channel for you, you're going to want to hit subscribe. So let's go straight through to the kitchen and I'll show you everything that we bought. So here we are, Sainsbury's has just been my kitchen currently looks like I think most of the shops combined but it's a huge big shop reason being it's July um, and the schools in Scotland have just stopped for our six seven weeks of holiday so basically I have bought the majority of what we need as you know we do two top-ups one top-up usually every week and um, which is just fresh fruit bread and milk um, and some veg and then so this is our big shop so I do it in bulk so obviously we're excited that we can actually kind of streamline our budget we know how much we're spending so this is the majority of what we need in terms of bulky items or things that can go in the freezer or that can keep in the store cupboard so I'll just show you roughly how we got on this month so um, that's my fridge I think that's quite modest that's all my nut butters and everything up there some butter a little couple of yogurts but that's pretty empty um, my fridge freezer is actually not too bad at all so that's kind of smash drawers I call it we've got some still plenty of meat so I haven't gone overboard with meat and then down below is my uh, veg as well so let me show you quickly the cupboards so the cupboards are fairly sparse they're reasonable they're reasonable so that's why I thought I'll do a big shop to last the summer because obviously the two boys will be here every single day and obviously I'll be working from home but working in the office. So I want to have enough food that I know I can put down dinners that everyone loves. We've got snacks but also we've got stuff that if we're going out for lunch at the weekend or maybe one day when I'm working from home we have a picnic outside. Something fun like that, we've got enough stuff. So let's start. So we this came to £136.42 for all this and as I say this is the majority of the items you will need. I'll then leave over about a budget of about 100, 120 pounds for the top up shop. So about that kind of 250 towards 300 perhaps mark for a family of four. So we have toilet tissue, we have a couple of cans of Pepsi and Pepsi Max, this is the drink section. I've got some of the squash fruit shoots, that's for doing um, lunch times out so we can take them and go and I'll usually refill them because they're nice little size for the boys. Um, I picked up some apple and blackcurrant squash juice, there'll be lots of you know drinks galore over the summer so we've got that and I've also got a bit of left over. I then picked up some of Sainsbury's little juice boxes as well to go with when we're going for lunches out. So we've got apple six pack and then down below here we have the pineapple, the apple and the orange little variety. Then we come to needed washing up liquid and I've got some of their bio tabs and I also picked up one of these smell generator things. We've got one in the hallway and it's lovely. I picked one up while it was on special offer. Then we have a couple of store cover items. So basically spaghetti that'll do us for the month no problem we don't eat pasta that much maybe once every two weeks so that'll probably be more than enough we have some of the mini rice cakes the little portions for snack time 
Um, only one loaf that I'll do is the week because we don't eat a lot of bread. I really don't eat bread really at all, neither do the boys. And hot dog bun rolls because we're going to be having hot dogs at some point. These are the snacks now for the kids. My husband and I aren't snacking, so these are just to keep them going for a couple of weeks. Mini Smarties. These were free with my Sainsbury's delivery, so that's pick up biscuits. I'm going to make some little jellies as well as a nice simple after dinner snack. Um, then we move on to two packets of biscuits, bourbon creams and custard creams. Again, it's just for the boys. If they want a wee biscuit every now and again, they can pick those up. The quick cook noodles. These are fabulous. I will use salmon that I've got in the freezer and do dinners with those. Their satay sauce is really lovely as well. So I've got that on hand to make up something really yummy. And then I picked up four packets of Sainsbury's chicken flavoured noodles. Four packets because actually one is probably enough for us as a family because I throw it into if I'm making a stir fry which has got lots of chicken veggies and this is just a little bit of carbs to bulk it up so four we'll probably do as the month and some more then I've got Sainsbury's gravy granules of the chicken and the beef that I'll use to make my mince and my stews with a bag of basics rice that I'll do as a full month for like chicken fried rice for chilli and rice, um, as you can imagine, anything that involves rice. So the basics is perfect for us. Then a couple of sauce jars, we've got the Thai red curry and we have their basics curry sauce, which is lovely as well, really nice sauce. Um, and then I needed some mustard, some harassa spices. I make my flat chicken, my skillet chicken with this particular spice seasoning. The boys love it as well. We love it, put some garlic powder on it. So that's really lovely and mild. A couple of garlic breads for spaghetti bolognese that I'm going to make. Eight tins of cream of tomato soup from Sainsbury's that I think is just as good as Heinz. Aldi's one is also fabulous but that is basically probably three weeks worth. We might need more and that's lunches so nice quick lunches for everyone. Then we come on to some meats for if we're doing picnics in the next couple of weeks. So we've got some smoked ham, some cooked ham and pepperoni. My youngest loves pepperoni so I actually tend to make this in the oven crispy bits for pizza and he will love it. Um, a couple of packs of hot dogs underneath there as well. They'll keep it in the fridge for probably a couple of weeks so I'm not worried about them and that's just an easy lunch for us all. Okay now we come on to the meats. <clears throat> so we have a gammon joint that I'll make in the slow cooker. We have 50 grams of beef mince and I'll half that at least and we'll have two dinners out of that. One will likely go in the freezer of mince which is mince, swede, carrots and all that thing and then I'll leave the rest and we'll use that on the day maybe for spaghetti bolognese. Two packs of heck sausages, so one pack of six will do our sausage casserole that I make and probably the other pack will be when we're having bacon and eggs one morning. Speaking of the bacon, two packs of bacon, that'll definitely keep us going for the four weeks. And then I've got one, two, three kilogram boxes of their chicken breast that I divide up into two or three chicken breasts and that will be along with the chicken I've got in the freezer already. That will be the majority of our dinners or our lunches. I'll be using those. Okay, so could we come on to the fruit and veg. I've got some new spinach and I make my own salads with that. I throw in pretty much everything as well for having stir fries. If we're having casseroles, I just hide it in there. I also whiz it up with eggs and a little bit of cheese to make omelettes. We've got a cucumber in there as well. I then have some blueberries. So this fruit and veg will only last us the week probably. Now I need to top it up. So blueberries, strawberries we've got there. We've got three packs of the mini apples. That'll probably only last us the week because we all eat a lot of fruit and veg. We've got some bananas. And I've gone for a bag of potatoes. I'm gonna, with the boys being off, I'm gonna actually do baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, maybe some homemade chips. So I'm gonna go really back to basics and use that. Then we come on to, I bought one of these smoothie mixes for the freezer and um, we've been doing a lot of that kind of, you know, protein shakes or smoothies. So I thought we'll try that and that's the mango, pineapple and papaya. So that sounds fabulous from Sainsbury's. Box of chamomile and honey tea for me. I'm trying to switch from decaf tea for something a bit different so I'm going to try that. We've got two boxes of eggs and that'll probably only last us the week because we go through quite a lot of eggs in this house for omelettes and for boiled eggs. So that'll do us. Baked beans and also some tinned carrots for some casseroles. I've gone for gluten-free porridge oats for me. I eat porridge pretty much two or three times a week. So I'm going for the gluten-free ones just to see what they're like. One box of Cocoa Pops for the boys is a treat, I told them. So that's for, they can have that every odd um, breakfast as their start of the day. But they'll obviously have it probably with some fruit. So Cocoa Pops is a little bit of a treat for us um, and they're happy as Larry to be getting that. 
I got these for me and the kids, the Innocent Smoothies, and this is the pineapple, carrot, and apple flavour. So I'm really excited to try that. They are explain expensive, these smoothies, I find. So we'll try one box. It'll probably last the week, and that's fine. If we like it, it might be a treat we get in future, but we'll see. Some string cheese for a quick, easy lunch snack. Some sliced cheese. This is the cheese corner, shall we say. And some spicy cheese for me and the husband. We like to put that on cheese on toast or in omelettes. Little portions of cheese for lunches. A block of cheese and grated cheese. It's a lot of cheese. That will probably last us a couple of weeks though in various forms. Then we have some yogurt, some Miller Corners. And then keep on the yogurts. I've got their pack of their kind of basics from Ash Freeze for the kids for, you know, after lunches or their dinner time box of pineapple juice for me and apple and raspberry juice drink for us all to share that probably lasts a couple of days diluted with some water then we're coming on to frozen bits last of we've got three milks three big things of milk that'll last us one week if i'm lucky so that's my top me up then this is my frozen corner so i love 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 frozen fruit and veg I think you save a lot of money, but also the quality is great and you can just use what you need rather than wasting. So we have fruit, chopped onion, which that will last us the month. We have peas, we have sweet corn, we have little carrots. Then I have broccoli, that will probably last a couple of weeks. I'll use it in pretty much all the dinners and you know, I'll top that up. Some Yorkshire puddings, they're basics Yorkshire puddings, which are outstanding. So gravy works a treat on them, obviously. And I picked up also some chicken dippers. Um, these are the battered ones from Sainsbury's. Again, just if you want maybe an easy lunch, throw a couple of them on if we're running out the door half an hour and the boys will be happy and then fish fingers are a huge thing in our house as well so I've got some fish fingers for some easy lunches and dinners so that is all of our shopping for as I say for the majority of the month I'm going to divide up all the meat get that in the freezer put this all away so what I'm going to do is take you to the computer and I'll now break down the meals that we'll be eating in July as always let me know you know how do you like to meal plan and prep do you do a bulk shop like this it's always interesting to share ideas just talk you through then our meal plan for the rest of the month. So I'm going to show you on the computer what that basically looks like. But as you know, tons of resources on mamafarfar.com. The URL is below that takes you straight to the blog post regarding this meal planning session. Go and check it out. There's also the number of tools that I've mentioned as well to help you make managing your money a little bit easier, a little bit smarter towards those goals. So let me talk you through everything we're going to be eating in the month of July. Let me talk you through July's meal plan. Now, as always, you will see I do four weeks, so 20 days I map it out completely but from this what we like to assume is perhaps you will have dinners out so sometimes things will actually end up in the freezer that's just inevitable with life I'm afraid but our breakfast and our lunches tend to be very much similar so as you will see I've got three or four breakfasts tend to be on rotation everyone's happy with them cereal fruit we have a lot of eggs and omelets in this house I love making homemade porridge as well I usually make it with coconut milk it gives that kind of edge and I put in a lot of nut butters like almond butter or peanut butter we have a lot of smoothies as well and good old toast so really easy breakfast because we tend to be either going out straight away or we perhaps got school or work now in July in Scotland we're actually on summer holiday so that's why I do want breakfast to be nice and easy and relaxed not too much thought into them however I know we might also be away for a couple of days so I want stuff that's going to keep and not spoil for lunches as well it's always really easy in this house kids will obviously pick at foods as they go through the day generally we have a lot of soup I'll make homemade vegetable soup we'll also have sandwiches bagels we might even have salads kids aren't so keen on a salad but they will take things like cucumber or cheese or the meat part on their own we also sometimes have pizzas and hot dogs so you'll see there's just a general mix of lunches that are easy you might be going out you might make sandwiches easy to grab so it's really the dinners that really kind of mix up and change and these are currently our favorite dinners I'm going to make during the summer because we don't have school because I'll be working I want them to be easy but I also want if we've been out or we're maybe thinking of going out at night time after I've finished work that they're super easy to get clear up enjoy and then head out to the park or something so as you see first night we are having I've got chicken nuggets in the freezer I will have Kiev's with chips and veg I'm going to home make creamy chicken pasta and that is I actually make up the creamy pasta sauce from scratch with an egg with some milk I also put a bit of garlic salt and pepper and I use the yolk of one egg to thicken it up so that's really yummy really does taste better than a jar in my opinion and I'll make that with some cooked chicken that I'll probably use from the freezer um, and then throw in some 
some pasta, may even do some garlic bread with that. Then the next night we're having a fish goujons. So I prefer these over fish fingers normally. They're just a little bit meatier, a little bit more grown up. And we'll have that with mash, usually root mash and peas. Then I'm going to do cottage pie. So I'm going to actually make the mince in the slow cooker. Um, that might even be some mince I've got left over from a previous dinner. Mince in the slow cooker, which is with carrots and sweet and um, onion and the mince itself browned off and that's left all day and then I'll top it with usually mashed potato and if not I'll leave it separate so that the kids to enjoy or not have. Then we're going to have a curry night which I'll make chicken curry, it tends to be katsu curry in this house so I'll make that with rice and naan again. Then the next night we're actually going to have hamburger dinner so hamburgers obviously we won't have them with the buns, not a lot of our house actually eat the buns anyway so I'll just do hamburgers, we'll do waffles and a little bit of salad, super easy and the weekend and to finish off the week we're going to have a roast chicken dinner because you know you can't have a week without a roast dinner in some description so we'll have Yorkshire puddings you saw those the frozen ones that I get from Sainsbury's with veg and mash and next week we're going to kick off with fajitas in the slow cooker which is two chicken breasts I usually put in peppers onions a little sprinkling of the fajita mix leave it all day in the juices and then I'll usually take it out and just finish it off in the pan with more fajita mix everyone loves it and we make it with the fajita wrap with cheese, with sour cream, everyone will have a great night, hugely filling dinner. Then we're going to make spaghetti bolognese from scratch and I will do that, also throw in some courgette and um, carrot in there to hide some veg with passata that I've got in the cupboard already um, and we'll do that with garlic bread. Then I'm going to make pork pieces and pork pieces is a can of onion soup in the slow cooker with the pork browned off, left all day and I'll usually throw in either green beans or peas towards the end of it. Um, I'll leave that sitting all day it'll be fabulous finish it off with maybe a spoonful of gravy granules and then I'll do that with mash and carrots as well then we'll have sausage casserole which is an absolute favorite in our house so sausages browned off put in the slow cooker with I just usually make up a normal gravy um, and we'll have that with veg and easy peasy waffles then we're gonna have steak and chips the next night so we'll just get some really high quality steaks probably that day from Morrison's or our local supermarket and I'll cook it off the kids are really fond of medium to rare steak so am I so I'm just going to encourage it and um, we have that as a really one-off treat although this month we'll probably have it twice because I'll probably buy four steaks and we'll split two between us so we don't have a huge amount each but we do enjoy it then I'm going to make Mexican chicken which is very similar to fajitas but it's more based with the peppers and onions actually keeping them whole rather than making fajitas where it's a bit more finely mashed um, and I'll do that in the skillet pan and that'll be lovely I'll probably serve that actually with rice but I'll depend on the day what I've got left over then I'll, to finish off I'll do flat chicken and chips flat chicken is where I butterfly chicken breasts I cook them in oil and butter with garlic powder and harassi spices I hope I'm saying that right um, and I put that in and the kids absolutely devour it I usually make about four chicken breasts and they're all gone between the four of us so that is a firm favorite and so for the next two weeks after in July because we are mainly doing a lot of family dinners where I'm obviously working but the kids are about and um, my husband's about I'm going to repeat those dinners twice so you'll see that in the actual clip art there that um, the dinners repeat and the reason for that as I said is I found a lot of our favorite dinners we repeat naturally in the month anyway so I'm just going to keep it really simple and I'm just doubling up on everything so a lot of these dinners I'll actually make two portions of if I can and um, so rather than just make one I'll put another one in the freezer and that then makes the end of the month so much easier um, and you never know what you'll find there also probably some of the lunch which might well be using up some of those dinners so overall July is going to be a really easy month of dinners for us, really crowd pleasers um, and hopefully we can enjoy a lot of the nice hot weather if we get it in Scotland. Thanks so much for watching today, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I love to share our monthly meal plan with you because I think it's part of real life. It's not all just about investing and working towards our future, you've also got to look after your money here and now and meal planning food is such a big part of it. I love to share with you my ideas and also hear your ideas too on meals that feed those hungry tummies. So leave the comments below and give me a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions at all that I should try, perhaps some recipes, perhaps some ideas of how I could differentiate my meals, I'm open to all suggestions. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.